Hey there, concerned parents and caregivers. Are you tearing your hair out over your teen's tantrums? You're not alone. Today, we're diving deep into the nitty-gritty of teen tantrums. Why they happen, and how to deal with them without losing your cool. So, stick around. The science behind teen tantrums. First up, let's talk facts. Believe it or not, science has got something to say about these emotional eruptions. It's not just teen drama, it's a cocktail of hormones, brain development, and external pressures. The prefrontal cortex, the decision-making part of the brain, is still under construction. The emotional angle, ah, uh, emotions. Teens feel emotions in a big way, and that's all thanks to an overactive amygdala, the emotion center of the brain. You could say they're on an emotional roller coaster and just can't find the brakes. Common triggers for tantrums, so, what lights the fuse for these emotional firecrackers? It could be academic stress, peer pressure, or even feeling misunderstood. Even small things like not finding their favorite pair of jeans can tip the scales. Yep, it's a jungle out there for teens. When tantrums turn severe, now listen, some tantrums go beyond the occasional eye roll or door slam. We're talking about destructive behavior or emotional withdrawal. These are red flags, folks. If this sounds like your teen, you might want to consider professional help. Dealing with tantrums, doth onto some tips. What should you do? First, keep calm. I know, easier said than done. But your teen will mirror your emotions. Second, validate their feelings. You don't have to agree, just acknowledge. Lastly, pick your battles. Some hills aren't worth dying on. Dealing with tantrums, don't what should you avoid? Numero uno, don't lecture in the heat of the moment. Bad move. You'll lose them faster than Wi-Fi in a tunnel. 2. Avoid public humiliation. 3. Never, ever resort to physical punishment. It's not just harmful, it's counterproductive. The importance of communication communication is key, but it's not a monologue. It's a two-way street. Let them vent, and when it's your turn, use, I, statements. It keeps the focus on the issue and not the person. Trust me, it makes a difference. The role of rewards and consequences reward good behavior and make consequences crystal clear for the bad stuff. It helps them understand the big picture. It's like a video game, hit the target and level up, miss it and start over. But keep it fair and consistent. The power of empathy, empathy is your secret weapon. When teens feel heard and understood, it diffuses tension like a pro. Imagine being in their shoes. It's not a magical cure, but it does build a bridge. And bridges make crossing troubled waters a bit easier, don't they? Let's hear from Lisa, a mom who turned the tables on tantrums. Her teen was stressing over schoolwork. Instead of butting heads, they brainstormed solutions together. Spoiler, it made homework time a lot less chaotic. Then there's Tom, a dad who used humor to disarm a shouting match. He playfully imitated his teen's tantrum in a light-hearted way. It cracked everyone up and de-escalated the situation. Sometimes laughter is the best medicine. You've got questions, we've got answers. Should I give them space or confront them? The rule of thumb is to gauge the intensity. A low boil? Maybe give M space. A high boil? Time to step in, but tread lightly. How professional help can make a difference sometimes it's bigger than us, and that's okay. Therapists or counselors can offer coping skills that are game changers. Plus, a neutral third party can make those tough convos less, well, tough. Parental self-care Hey parents, you need TLC too. When you're stressed, you're less effective. A bit of self-care can go a long way. So grab that cup of tea or take that brisk walk. You'll be better for it, trust me. The impact on siblings let's not forget the brothers and sisters. They're also in the mix. Be open with them, and maybe have a family meeting. Share the love, people, share the love. 
Long-term effects of ignoring tantrums, ignoring a tantrum today could mean bigger issues tomorrow. We're talking anxiety, depression, or worse. It's not just a phase, it's a call for help. Take it seriously, folks. Building emotional intelligence teaching emotional smarts is a win-win. It helps your teen and eases your parenting journey. Simple things like naming emotions can be a game-changer. Say it, to tame it. Social media's role, ah, the digital world. It can be a friend or foe. Sometimes it fuels tantrums, sometimes it eases them. Keep an eye on what they're browsing and who they're chatting with. A digital detox now and then doesn't hurt. Diet and behavior you are what you eat, and so is your teen's mood. Foods high in sugar or additives can crank up the crankiness. Opt for balanced meals with good old fruits and veggies. Nutrition is a mood maker, believe it or not. Exercise and mental health get those bodies moving. Exercise is like nature's chill pill. It releases endorphins, which are basically your brain's happy chemicals. So encourage some physical activity. A walk, a jog, or even a dance off. Tips for schools and teacher teachers, you're up. Understanding a teen's emotional state can help you better manage the classroom. Offering safe spaces for expression can create a more harmonious learning environment. Teamwork makes the dream work. The importance of routine structure, folks. It provides a sense of safety. A set bedtime, mealtime, or even downtime can do wonders. Consistency is key, so try to stick to the game plan. Viewer stories and tips now, let's hear from you, our viewer family. We asked for your stories and tips, and boy did you deliver. Sarah from New York swears by a cool-down jar, filled with relaxing activities. When a tantrum hits, the jar comes out. Setting boundaries boundaries aren't just lines in the sand. They're important for teaching respect and self-control. Make sure these boundaries are clear and consistently enforced. It provides a sense of predictability for your team. Importance of laughter never underestimate the power of a good chuckle. It's a stress buster and brings the family closer. So go ahead, share a joke or watch a comedy together. Lighten the mood. We've covered a lot of ground today haven't we? Remember, every teen is unique, and so is every tantrum. Next week, we're tackling teen friendships, navigating the drama. So hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. Until then, keep your cool and parent on. Alright, folks, that's a wrap. Remember, parenting a teen is like being on a roller coaster. Ups, downs, and a few loop-de-loops. Hold on tight, and don't forget to enjoy some of the ride. Catch you in the next video.